Okay, welcome to the Monday, May 21st meeting of the Montpelier Design Review Committee. I will let committee members and staff introduce themselves. Hannah Smith. Eric Gilbertson. Stephen Everett. Eric Randall, staff. Benjamin Cheney. Anybody who's not been here before, we are advisory to the Development Review Board. We will listen to, to the applications and move them forward to the administrative administrative approval or to the next development review. And do I hear a motion to approve the agenda? So move. Second. Second. All in favor of the agenda motion. Agenda is approved. And we'll go ahead and move to the first application, 15 Barry Street, the Willard Park. I recuse myself from the race. Go ahead and uh, also make your notes. Uh, no, no significant changes other than from last time we spoke, except for the ramp, um, which this is all the old stuff. So basically, been working with um, uh, mostly Chris Lumbra in an effort to get this ramp on this building, uh, and so major, you know, basically coming from the left of the stairs, running out to the road. Um, yeah, it would be below the windows. Is um, I didn't, I should have drawn those windows in. That's a great point, Seth. Um, but it, uh, it will run basically in this photograph to the, from the stairs. It would run from here out to Barry Street. They're going to use the existing, well, we're going to tune up the existing stairs, but everything existing stays. Yeah, if you look at it in plan from somewhere in one of these drawings, you can see it's kind of got a little, uh, little jog in it. So you would come up the ramp and then it kind of wiggles to the right and then left onto the platform. Trying to keep the ramp as tight to the building as possible, but that uh, project out to to get onto that sort of landing that those stairs come up requires a little wiggle. This is an uncovered. uncovered ramp. Yep. Chris seems fine with this. Yep. I didn't figure out where the handicap part is. Uh, I guess. There are, there will still be three spaces kind of right in front of that. One of those could be designated as a handicap spot. Nobody's brought that up, but I don't see why that couldn't be uh, created. Does the existing, um, this overhang and the little, that all stays exactly the same? All that stays exactly the same, yep. So, bush goes? Bush goes. That vent moves a little bit. Um, I'm not entirely certain what it is. But yeah, it's got to move. Yep. So clearly it's concrete up to, up to here, and then it's likely just a pressure treated uh, wooden deck. Concrete from, there's like a nine feet of concrete that comes from the sidewalk, using the sidewalk as a sort of like a level place from which to take off on the wheelchair. And then it comes up nine, ten feet, uh, creates the sort of foundation for the ramp to take off from. And then the ramp will pitch up and likely be supported mid-span with one helical anchor. Correct. Chris, these drawings, yeah, these all went through Chris, and this is what he seemed to. Well, this is a good question. It does, actually. Um, but close enough. We went, yeah, yeah, in an effort to sort of say, okay, we're going to, we're doing our absolute best to make this work, and it's, there's no other place to go. 
Yes, the concrete um, should be a, a section that shows that. Mm. The I, I guess the best we're going to see it is maybe in this. Yeah, is it? It pitches up. It's level as it comes off from the sidewalk, pitches up for five, six feet, and is level. Yeah, you can see it there, yeah. And then, so is that it's less than 30 feet from level to level, just barely, um, to be able to, to meet that requirement, that ADA requirement. So far, there's no proposal for that. I mean, there is existing a whole bunch of like Christmas lights that run around there that they use, and they they seem fine with that. But uh, if they get into it, I guess we would come back and ask for more if they felt like they wanted more. But at the moment, nobody's requested any more exterior lighting. Yeah. That's a good thought. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we're below, at this point, it's less than 30 inches from ground. So the idea was just less stuff. Um, so that. We needed the barrier, the four inch uh, barrier, to get us down uh, below 30 inches. Does that make sense? There is a toe kick on here that prevents the, the wheelchair from slipping off, yes. But it was not, seemingly not required to have, you could still pass through there as far as that. The child kind of falling over the cliff problem. Is there, um, is there There's been zero discussion about that. Not nobody has uh, mentioned any concern about that. Yeah, I think we'll probably have to do something like that. But yeah, they're, they don't intend to get in there very often or ever, but I think it would be foolish not to make it possible. Yeah, when and if, or when and when. No, that bulkhead is buried. By the way, quick question, just because they have not the germ all with it. Did they ever move nope. the sign down below those windows like they had applied for? This photograph I took three weeks ago, maybe even two weeks ago. Looks a little too. awkward. Obviously, if they want to come back for any other kind of permanent lighting, other than just the thing that I'm going to do, uh, but what you can do is, you know, as an option for the ramp, do some black surface mounted after the lighting. Mm -hmm. You know, it's in a down low, so it's not going to really going to see it kind of throw a light up the ramp. <coughs> Where? And, There are there are some lights there, yeah. I assume they're. I mean, clearly they're there and lit up. I bet they are there for the parking lot. Okay, so they could obviously just be used to the ramp. Yeah, yeah. Although I was curious about what you were talking about.
lose at least, I think they'll lose one. That's why, you know, that I tried to keep the ramp over the green there, except for that little jog there. And in that jog space was um, a place where one car would go. So I think they, I mean, it's awkward parking there anyhow. People do park there, but it is awkward. Uh, the ramp is not going to make it radically more awkward. The existing stair railings will uh, yeah, they probably will. I'll t I mean, you know, part of like in doing this will be tuning up that whole front stair. So if they're looking really shabby, they'll get maybe place. Yes. Um, don't know. I have no, so, I mean, I'm not able to speak very much for the, for buddies. If I haven't had basically any communication with the buddies people, they're sort of excited for this project, but are waiting to see that it could actually happen before they're really getting too far ahead. So I can't, I, as far as how the restaurant is going to interact with any of this, I don't have any. This is a project that may not even happen this year. It's more of a just sort of like, what's the feasibility and can we do this? Right, that vent. Yeah. Yeah, we would have to dive into that to see what's going on there. If, in the event that they elect to put up an awning, but I think it's nice to say, hey, if you want to do this. Seems inevitable. I'll say it is nice like, that the Tom McArdle has made it an effort to allow, to help with the city sidewalk, which is far from compliance, to be able to put in the wheelchair ramp and um, some little bit of flexibility on the one in the quarter inch per foot to be able to make an effort to get you know, an old building that was never designed to have a ramp. People seem to be making an effort to make sure that that ramp can go in. So. I think that's been really nice. Any other questions, comments? Uh, preservation and reconstruction of the appropriate historic style of the project. Those projects in the historic district will involve some historic structure. So, how many of the exterior design will be the projects in the district will be separate? Compatibility of the proposed exterior materials <coughs> will be in the district will be separate. Compatibility of the proposed landscape will be proposed. Prevention of use of incompatible designs, buildings, coats, homes, or exterior materials, etc. Location of events about the buildings and change. Recognition of and respect for new borders and significant investors and the buildings of the city and state homes, etc. And the option is that a black track to go on and be installed in the area, the bigger seating and the dining, and the other side of the building. In favor of the application, we should
do I get this one? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was my understanding from Audra. Okay. My brother is out of town. I'm Richard Powell, and uh, he left me a couple of notes that I'll want to read for the committee. May I proceed? Go ahead. Please. All right. <clears throat> Paint border fence. Uh, Karen, meaning Karen Blosser's fence along the driveway, is painted on her side, but not mine, on which uh, it is, uh, according to my brother, a motley mess, uh, which I took care of, uh, which I look out for my uh, kitchen window. I've chosen a very dull greenish gray that lets the fence disappear to the degree that it will and lets me focus on the pretty hill behind it. Karen has given me permission. There are two photos and two uh, paint outs of the color in the package that I submitted. Should I hold on that topic before I proceed to the next? No, I think that's self-explanatory. Well, thank you, sir. Two, install stove pipe through the near first floor wall. I'm installing a wood stove in my rear northwest first floor room. I have gotten bids from two local companies and include in my package the one that best describes what they will use and do. It will basically be designed to code. The package includes a plan to show the location and uh, two annot annotated photos. I believe it is. I don't know. <clears throat> well, as you may know, my brother is an um, expert in historic preservation and uh, has worked on a lot of old buildings, including uh, Mount Vernon Treasury Building. So he won't. He won't mess it up, sir. <laughs> Questions, comments from anyone? Okay. The criteria of this one. It's the same as the previous application. Preservation and reconstruction of the appropriate historic style. Thank you. Right here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Isn't that it? That's it. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. Thank you, folks. And if you're trying to get to sleep some night and can't, catch my brother on the uh, History Channel's History of Paint. <laughs> 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 the next application for 8 Lincoln Street, Andy Brewer and Bobby Rome. Come up with the table. So 
Um, well, so do you have the documents? Are they, were they all sent? Yeah. So it's an oval sign, and uh, it's going to be flat and with the colors on it of the logo. Um, it's going to be lighted from, from both sides, so uh, with two little light fixtures, which are there uh, attached to the bracket. Um, I mean, I'm not here to talk about that, but <laughs> yeah, but I, I think other signs on the street are lighted, so I didn't see any problem with that. My neighbor across the street has lights on her sign. Oh, thank you. Um, there is a typo on the sign. We caught that and we fixed it, so okay. adventurous isn't spelled correctly. But we did catch that and we, we will fix that. It won't be uh, spelled that way on the sign. Well, that's good. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Yes, the, the graphic designer was, was horrified when we caught that. So. You don't have a, a photograph if I was looking at your door, like where this bracket is mounting. Oh. Um, I don't have a photograph, but it's right next to the doorway. So the doorway is here, and it's right on the. I don't think I have a photograph. Let me check my photos, because I might actually. I do have a couple photos of the building straight on. Um, I'm sure I can find one. There was for the shoehorn. The shoehorn had a sign there, so we're, we're taking down the existing bracket because um, it's a little short. That sign was a circle, um, and ours is going to be an oval. And uh, it also um, didn't have lights on it. So there, here's a better picture of where it is. Yeah. And there's another picture if you slide this way. Oops, I'm sorry. Um, <coughs> so there's the sign right there. Yeah. There's another picture of the sign. Yeah, the attach might be stone or the joints would be the stone. No, it'll be all on wood or sit on um, wood. I mean, we're, we propose just to put the sign where the other bracket is, unless there's a reason not to put oh. it there. I'm not sure what the proposed place of the Mm-hmm. More strength, right? Or an angle of the brain. Or an angle of the brain. This one has a brain that I think goes up to the, goes up high. Yeah, we haven't ordered that yet, so we can. What will happen with that is it puts a lot of strain on the attachment. Yeah. We have a small base. If you look at that, you see it's much taller. I understand what you're saying. And reinforcing out the horizontal. Yes. Remember the sign that does between uh, wind and snow and weather. Yes. It's far enough wood, so I think you can pull on it. It's a lot of leverage. I agree. I didn't look at that, and I don't think that the designer did either, but we can go back to the drawing board on do the you bracket. Do you still have the original bracket? It's still there. Still yeah. There. Yeah. Okay, take a picture of that mm -hmm. so you can show the designer. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe, I'm not sure if you're going to take that one down at mm -hmm. a time, but if you take a picture, make some measurements, they can see yeah. what they need to do to build a suitable bracket yes. to support this one, especially if it's going to be I agree. I think you're right. Yes, I can do that. I think this probably would work, minus the fact that your plate, I think, is a six inch by six inch plate that's supposed to be mounted to the mm -hmm. building, and I don't think that piece of wood is six inches wide, and so I think you would be missing. That's a good point too. Uh, yeah. I, I don't think your I think your plate would be wider than, mm -hmm. than that piece of wood. Is mm -hmm. a fabricator somebody? Local? No. 
No, he was going to order, well, I mean, the sign maker is someone local, but he was going to order the bracket. Okay. So we haven't ordered the bracket yet. Let him come measure. Yeah. And see where it's going to be attached and measure the existing mm -hmm. one. So mm -hmm. we can order an appropriate bracket. It's less than the one to order one kind of coming from the wrong bracket. And we've got to cut it pretty well. You're right. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. I will do that. For sure. Congratulations on opening the store. Yes, Thank you. Pioneer Street comes alive. Again. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes, it's been really fun. It's been, this is week three, and everybody that comes in is like just happy that we're reopened. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a yeah. story. Other questions, comments? LED, I believe. Yeah, but I'll double check that as well. Um, I do have the sign, the light specs on my phone, so let me just check here. Bracket, fixtures. Some people are just going to have to turn their phone in. LED. There's um, uh, specs on the lights here. Okay. Okay. I agree with that. Although it's going to look like that, but um, if we're going to change the bracket, you know, because that bracket won't work, I'll have to probably come back, right, with the no. new bracket? No? Okay. No, we'll just, as long as it looks similar to the mm -hmm. one that's there now, mm -hmm. that should be fine. Okay. And then again, if there's a longer plate in the bracket coming out, there's a lot of portion. Mm -hmm. What I think is nice about this bracket that might not work as well with the bracket that's there is that this is a tube which will contain the wires yes, inside right, the tube. for the lighting. Whereas mm -hmm. the other bracket that's existing there is solid, so mm -hmm. you don't have the ability to run the wires through the tube. Right. Um, so I'm Just certain. Drill that. Yeah. I, well, I mean, I think the the p main piece holding up the sign on the existing one is a piece of solid, probably three eighths by yeah. by two. And so, what's nice is this one allows the wires to be inside the two by two square too. Yeah. yeah, that I think is even a thin, just a thin piece of metal. Yeah, that's you know, what I'm saying. Twisted. That, you, right, it's not a, even a tube. Right, right. that's what I'm saying. Is that's yeah. a solid. That this piece is the tube mm -hmm. right. that holds the wire mm -hmm. around that bracket. It can it can fabricate. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I all I guess I was saying is in considering your I like your bracket choice here mm -hmm. if you're gonna put wiring on it because yeah. it contains the wires in it. So in continuing your bracket search that will work mm -hmm. for this situation. I think mm -hmm. that that's a, a nice direction. Um, a little cleaner. Yes, in considering
here, down to your signs? Is there a chain? Is that a cable? Is that uh, a fishing a line? <laughs> it looks, yeah, I think from the picture, from the drawing, let me just see if we can tell. I don't know. I'd have to find out. That doesn't show anything. It does only here, but it's a drawing, so it doesn't really show what that is that connects. Um, I will have to have to check. Do so bracket ring, wire ring, yeah, one inch through wiring hole. Oh, so that's the wiring through the middle. If that's a bracket provide. ring, yeah, so I think... providing a ring, yeah. it's up to you is to add a band or something. Yes. So yes, because it looks like that. It's going to be able to swing. So if you put your lights kind of further out, but it's a little part of the sign, it's going to swing up again. If it's going to blow hard enough, it's going to swing a sign like that. Hmm. So if the, if the lights are out, mm -hmm. towards, towards the end, you've got Mm -hmm. I do have a top view too. They did provide a top view of that sign bracket. Right, this is a side view. Yeah. Side view of lighted. So the lights are pretty, looks like the lights are pretty far away. I'm yeah, sure they allow for that. Yeah, but okay. certainly not a requirement. Yes, right, right. And there's this side view shows that too. Up on yes. the top of the page. There's no doubt that a diagonal brace would make it substantially stronger. I do think that probably this is a professional sign maker thing that they've tested that with the aware of Yeah. But, uh, what are they there? And I just say I don't any thin profile diagonal brace may be applied. Yeah. Again for the purpose. Yeah. All in favor of the application.
should I date it as well? Sure. Okay. Thank you. Well, congratulations. Good luck. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. Project and your business. Thank you. Thank you. In uh, our efforts to sort of make design review more of a both like approachable and a great useful place and sort of help get out the word as to why it's important, um, was considering what it would mean to make like a basically like a rolling bulletin board kind of thing. That I spoke with John a little about it that could live in his awesome little mu Montpelier Museum. It would have like photographs of like historical buildings in Montpelier and those sort of things that have changed and why like design review is important and how it's sort of helped maintain our um, the character and culture of our of our we've, town. We've talked about doing something like that in uh, preparation and connection places. I mean, it's tomorrow night, so I want to invite everybody who wants to come on. I I find it historic preservation places where the world is Yeah. Well, and so my sort of proposal is that if we can generate something like this that would live in, in the museum and then we could roll it out and it could yeah. be in here for a meeting so that when anybody comes to the meeting they get to sort of see like what, what why we're going to want to get in the process. Yeah, yeah exactly. So we've had exactly. some really good discussions about you know, getting public information out there with examples. I mean, one of the best things is uh, at Ball. Vermont Postal and shows a building that they just hold a piece off and it's really changed and then you take a little piece of it and you sit there on it. It's a great poster and it's done by the U.S. Troops, but kind of shows. 
shows the world and who's each character in the three stages. And that makes it clear why you know, this whole recent trend is kind of important. Yeah, we're, we're working on that. We certainly would appreciate it. If you want to come to me tomorrow night, that would be great. And your dad would be Yes, he and I have been discussing this. But, uh, okay. I will be otherwise engaged. I will not be on the but I did have a, a brief conversation with uh, Jamie Duggan about it. Yeah. So. Good. Anything else? Anybody from the audience have anything they want to ask or offer? Okay. 